<laughs> this YouTube video is so funny. <laughs> Larissa, honey. Yeah? Come on, honey. You need to get some sleep. Just a few more minutes, Mom. No, you said that 20 minutes ago. And you don't want to be late for the Memorial Day picnic tomorrow. You and your father entered the father-daughter three-legged race, remember? Oh, yeah. And I hear we're going to go swimming there, too. That's right. Even though you have to dress nice, but just not too nice, but nice. Yeah, I know, Mom. Well, put your laptop away, honey. It's really time for you to get some sleep. Okay. All right. Thanks for listening. You're welcome. Okay, good night, honey. Good night, Mom. What am I doing in the beach in my pajamas? This is weird. Help me, Alyssa, I can't swim. That sounds like my dad. Help me. I better run to the lake and see if he needs help. Dad, I don't see him. Where is he? Dad? I don't see him anywhere. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I can't go in and save him because I don't see him. And what if a shark tries to eat me? I know we're not in the ocean, but still, there could be sharks in there. Wait, what's that thing in the water? Oh my god, Dad! Uh, I can't move. Dad, please swim. You can do it. Swim. Dad! 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 Larissa? Dad! Larissa, honey, wake up. What's the matter? He, he, he's, he's dying. What? Who's dying? Dad, he's in the water. He's dying. Honey, you must have had a bad dream, honey. But it was so real. It, he, he was dying and I couldn't help him. He was drowning in the lake. He, honey, it's all right. It was just a dream. It wasn't real. It was just a bad dream, honey. It's all right. Your father's fine. He's in his room sleeping. It's all right. You're okay. He's okay. I'm okay. We're all fine. We're all safe. But, Mom, honey, it was just a dream. Hey, what's going on in here? I'm so scary, Mom. I know, honey. It's all right. What's going on? Dad, are you okay? Of course I'm okay, honey. What's the matter? She had a nightmare. Oh, honey. You all right? Did you dream that you, me, and your friend were dating? No. Ten times worse than that. What is she talking about? Never mind. What did you dream about? The, you, I was at the beach. I was in my pajamas. And you were in the lake, and you were dead, and I tried to help you, and I couldn't. Honey, it's all right. I'm here. Everything's okay now. I know, but it was so scary. It's all right. It's going to be all right. 
I know. You're just nervous about the picnic. It's... But why would I be nervous about a picnic? I mean, uh, I go to the picnic every year. Yes, but it's the first year you're entering the daughter and father thing. Maybe just worried something will happen. Ugh, that's comforting. But what could I possibly be worried about? I was looking forward to this for the past weeks. I know, honey, but... I don't know, but whatever you dreamt... Whatever the reason is you dreamt it. Dream's over now, honey. I know. I know it is. I, I'm just really freaked out. It's all right. It was just a bad dream. Here, get back in bed. Come on. Okay. Go back to sleep. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Come on, Handel. Let's go back to bed. Hey. You think you can go to sleep now? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Good night. And pleasant dreams, okay? I'll try. Okay. Love you. I can't believe you're not going to the picnic. I can't. I have a lot of work to do. It's a holiday for crying out loud. Can't you get off your computer for a day? No, because when you're an accountant, you have to work all the time. Ugh. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, honey, don't you look pretty? Yeah, uh, can I talk to you guys? Uh, sure. Are you hungry? I could order us something to eat from the deli downstairs. I, uh, didn't really have time to cook breakfast. I was too busy arguing with your mom. What are you arguing about? She doesn't want to go to the picnic. Well, you can't be too mad at mom, because I don't want to go either. What? Why not? You were looking forward to it. Why don't you want to go? I just don't. I do want to spend the day with you, though, Dad. I just don't want to go to the picnic. But what about your friend Christy? She's not going. So I was thinking me, you, and Christy, and Mom could spend the day together. Well, you three could spend the day together. I have work to do. Mom, is work the only thing you care about? Larissa. Never mind. Dad, is it okay if we just skip the picnic? Why do you want to skip the picnic? I thought you were looking forward to it. We were going to win that three-legged race. I just don't want to do it. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so am I, kiddo. But I can't force you to go to the picnic, and it'll be no fun for me going by myself, so I guess we could skip it. We'll have a little cookout here. How's that? Much better. Okay. Go we'll call Christy up and invite her over. Thanks for understanding. That dream must really be getting to her. Yeah, I think it is. Like you would notice, you're too busy on your laptop. <sighs> Look, you guys are going to have a good day anyway. Yeah, no thanks to you. I don't want to argue about this, Ethan. I have a career. Yeah, but you also have a daughter. Can't you pay the least bit of attention to her? I always pay attention to my daughter. Pfft, that's a bunch of bull. Well, I don't think it is. Okay, because I do care about Larissa. After all, I was the one who ran in her room last night when she was having that nightmare, before you did. It's not my fault, I'm a heavy sleeper. I'm gonna go talk to Larissa. You go work on your precious laptop like you do 24 hours out of the day. Excuse me. Whatever, I have work to do. Okay, Christy. I'll see you soon.
Okay, bye. Bye. Come in. Hi. Hi. Did you talk to your friend? Yes, she's coming. Honey, I really want to talk to you. Sure. We'll be together all day. And we won't have anything to distract us. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Why don't you want to go to the father-daughter picnic? I just don't. Is it because of that nightmare you had? Honey, nothing is going to happen to me at the picnic. I would, I would just rather just be me, you, and Christy spending the day together. A quiet day. Where nothing bad can happen. Are you really going to let one nightmare, like the one you had last night, get the better of you? I don't know. Maybe. I'm only doing this because I love you. I know deep down you you love me, but I really wanted to go to the picnic. Yeah, well, I wanted a father all my life, and I didn't have that. That's not fair, Larissa. Well, maybe you're not being fair. How am I not being fair? Because that nightmare I had traumatized me because I was afraid of losing you again. And all you could think about is the picnic. It doesn't matter how I feel about it. I'm sorry I yelled at you, but the nightmare really shook me up, and I don't want to go to the picnic, okay? Maybe next year we'll go. Maybe next year I'll be lucky enough not to have the nightmare again. But this year, I just don't want to go, okay? Can't you understand it? That nightmare was scary, but it was a dream, Larissa. I was looking forward to it. But what about what I want? You know, ever since I got here, it's always been about how you felt. Always about your needs and your wants. And I've bent over backwards to please you and to try to make up for not being in your life. But when I want something, you just bulk, bulk at it. That's not true, Dad. Yes, it is. We won't go to the picnic, but don't expect me to be happy about it. Wow, I've never seen him so angry. Wow, that's quite a fight you and your dad had. Yeah, and I feel bad about it, but I only don't want to go to the picnic for his safety. Because of a nightmare you had? Yes. You, you, you weren't in my nightmare. You don't know how realistic it was, but it wasn't real. You really should have gone to the picnic with your dad. He'd make sure that you and him were both safe. And for you to pin that you haven't been here all my life on him wasn't fair. I know, but he just made me so mad because he always said it was always about how I felt. Well, is it what hasn't it been? He's always bent over backwards to please you, Larissa. You know, you're starting to sound like my father. I don't, I don't, I don't need another father. Look, I'm telling you this because I'm your friend, and I'm being honest. Didn't you once say you liked my brutal honesty? I lied. Chris, uh, Larissa, your dad was really looking forward to the picnic. Well, so was I. I wanted to go. Well, then what's the problem? I told you a million times. It was that stupid dream I had. Exactly. It was a stupid dream. You're lucky enough to have a father who wants to spend time with you, whether he's been in your life or not. You have a father. I don't, and I never will. I know that. But, I... Come in. Hey, Christy. Hey, Louisa. Dad. Uh, Christy, do you mind giving me and Larissa some privacy? Sure. Maybe you could talk some sense into her.
Listen, no. Before you speak, I want to say I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, honey, I was the one being selfish. And what I said about everything always being about you, it's supposed to be about you. You're the kid, I'm the adult. But it doesn't mean that you can't have something you want to, and I realize that. And I shouldn't have played that card on you when I, men when I mentioned for the millionth time that you haven't been around my whole life. No, you shouldn't have mentioned that, because I really am trying, but I should have been a little more understanding, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Dad. And to be honest, I really did want to go to the picnic. I was just afraid something would happen to you. I know you were, and I should have taken that into consideration. But I tried to tell you nothing's going to happen to you. But how can you be so sure? Anything can happen. You've seen the news with all this stuff happening. I understand that, honey. But I shouldn't have said what I said to you, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Let's go to the picnic next year. I'll definitely go. Next year? It's too early. Let's go now. You still want to go? Yes. With my favorite daughter. Yeah, right. I'm your only daughter. Well, more the reason why I love you. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Thank you. 